Optimum stress level. What does that mean? Optimum stress level. Professions, 
which require an OSL of 9 and 10. And by the way, Cardi is not one of them. So what do you think that profession is? 9 or 10. They have to operate on an OSL of 9 or 10. Doctors? Medicines? Restaurants? Restaurants? Okay. Possible. Yeah, also there. Yeah. Fire, firefighters? Oil, oil and gas. Oil and gas. Military, police, air, air traffic control, air traffic controllers, FMCG, pharmaceuticals, yeah. <laughs> yeah. chartered accountant, chartered accountant, you finance your life or death, oil and gas, uh, we were training in Oman for liquefying gas plant, Oman LNG, oh, uh, in Seoul, Oman, Oman LNG, so where? They get 35 straight days of working and 35 days uh, holiday. And they say that when, when they live on such high stress levels, that the guy, he was uh, in Dutch. He said, when I go home, I tell my family not to talk to me for two days. Because it takes me at least two days to actually bring myself to the level that I can. So start thinking about what you, how you can actually control your stress. And Exercise, I said, but also the foods that you eat, whether you breathe, whether you meditate, all those things can have a direct impact on what your levels are going to be the next day. You can, um, you can ask me particular questions after the session, I'd be willing to help you, but you have to make changes in your food, Bring about some exercise and breathing, etc. Use a lot of water because water also relaxes you. And please, my last statement on it, please do not. I'll try to avoid relaxants and antidepressants if you can. Okay? I'll, shall we go on?